Thanks, Katie. Two extra depth and perspective. By now, many of you have seen Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer, the second largest grossing film in the country, only behind Barbie. It details Dr. Robert Oppenheimer's quest to build the first atomic bomb. Almost all of that took place in New Mexico. But one thing that isn't shown is the effect on small, poor neighboring communities. The Trinity site where the first atomic bomb was detonated is directly 130 miles northeast from El Paso and only 95 miles from Las Cruces. ABC 7's Jason McNabb shows you the story of the downwinders, some still living in the southern part of the state. It's a story from our New Mexico mobile newsroom. From the big screen to right here at Brannigan Cultural Center here in Las Cruces, the work of Dr. Oppenheimer is being showcased. And with that, the stories of many generations who have suffered cancer from the Trinity test are now being brought back into the spotlight. The opening weekend between Oppenheimer and Barbie was definitely our, I think, our biggest weekend uh, so far this year. Oppenheimer is one of the hottest movies of the summer. But for nearly 80 years, many in southern New Mexico are still suffering from the real life events depicted in the film. When they heard the explosion, it shattered the windows, some of the windows in the house. The ground trembled, and they started crying and huddling in the corner because they didn't know what was going on. And my dad came in dusting himself with white powder. All the cows had powder on them. Genoviva Parata grew up in Capitan, New Mexico, 50 miles from the Trinity site. All eight of her family members, including herself, have suffered from cancer, which they blame directly on radiation poisoning from the test. She's the only one still alive. They all died of one form of cancer or other. It was devastating for everybody. Her story and other people who have lived downwind of the test site are being showcased at the Trinity Legacies of Nuclear Testing exhibit at the Brannigan Cultural Center. It showcases the art and photography of 17 juried artists that attempt to bring the impacts of that test to life. Emmett Boer's photograph, titled Come All Ye Faithful, is a centerpiece of the exhibit, showcasing what he calls a, quote, spectacle and carnival view of what he believes the Trinity site has become today. It basically was kind of a culmination of, of three or four years of being involved with the downwinders and reconciling, again, the historic view of, of, uh, of things as they were taught. A main reason for this exhibit? The Radiation Exposure Compensation Act is set to expire in July of 2024. New Mexico has never been included, despite hosting the first ever nuclear test. Mary Martinez White, a member of the steering committee for the Tularosa Basin Downwinders Consortium, is pushing for lawmakers to compensate those affected before time runs out. New Mexico lawmakers are currently working to expand the act. There are only 11 months left in the Radiation Exposure Compensation Act. If this legislation does not get passed, New Mexico will be permanently left out. The downwinders agree. You know, they're helping the other states. I don't know why they left New Mexico out. Martinez White adds, if you'd like to help the downwinders, the best thing you can do is call your state leaders and ask them to help expand the Radiation Exposure Compensation Act. For now, reporting in Las Cruces with our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, I'm Jason McNabb, ABC7.